Clock, clock, start. Shit. Well, that didn't work. So I'm just showing you here, it's uh, well, it's cold. So, it's not because it's warmed up. So, if you ever get this problem, it shows hood open. So right now it thinks that my hood is open. It's not open. So that sensor has gone bad. Let me just show you how to bypass that. This isn't a fix, but what this is, is this is a bypass on how to eliminate that sensor. Yeah, okay, excuse the mess over here. So the things I'm gonna be using for this is we have these right here. This was purchased on Amazon. I don't know if you can see that. There you go, they're just little 2.2K resistors. That's what they look like, come in a pack of 10. Super cheap. So you have a few to use and a few to lose. So I'm just gonna make up some little deals that allow me to connect this easier in the future. I'm just going to do up a few of them here. So, I need about that long. Let's just do three of these. So, we're just going to crimp off both ends. Or strip off both ends. And that's what you end off with. There you go. And your next one's gonna be a little bit longer. Let's just say that long. Two. And three. So should be done with that. There we go. Then, before you put your heat trace on, or your, before you put your shrink wrap on, we'll make sure that it's no longer hot. Slide your heat wrap on. Take a heat source. And let that cool off. Now for this next part, I'm going to take both of them. What I want is them to be equal lengths. But where I want it to be equal length at is at the coating. I'm going to take a bigger piece Slide that on. Trim it down just a little bit.
and there you go you have one made that's all it is Just trim that one up a little bit. I want them to be equal lengths. So I'm going to get another th two of these done and then let's go on to the vehicle. So just showing I have this set on ohms. You want to always make sure you test them before you use them. So, have it hooked on. Takes a little bit. 2.16. Okay. Two point one eight. So there we go. Two point two ish. So for this, we're just going to remove these plastic holders. Remove this so we can get at that wire. Just fly head screwdriver. Pry up the top part. Just like that, they come out. Now, right here we have the switch right here. Plugs in, it's right there. And what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually going to cut the wire right here because, well, it's bad anyways and it requires a whole new one in order to replace it properly. But for the sake of this, I'm just gonna cut the wire. Okay, so. The wires that we're going to use is the black and the red on the other side of the harness. Your actual engine, your actual body harness does not utilize this yellow wire, so it is not needed. And he's just a little bit too long, so let's cut things down a little bit. And we'll strip off the ends. Give them a couple little twists. And we'll take our new one. Does not matter which wire goes on what end of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug it in. You set that right down there. So in theory, the truck thinks that the hood's closed. I'll lock it, press start button. I'll be. Gotta unlock it. So, yeah, no key in it. Put that key in it, see if we got any trouble. We got ice possible. Okay, I'll dismiss that. Hey, my phone. <laughs> 